Hey guys, um, today uh, is Thursday and I usually do a grocery haul on Thursday, but we only got cheese sticks, um, so that's not really worth doing a haul for. So instead, I'm going to talk about um, how to use a price list and what a price list is and how it works. And this is a um, very first chapter, well, not the very first, one of the first chapters in my book, Frugal Food. So if you haven't got a copy of this and you want to learn more about saving money on food, um, go ahead on Amazon. I think it's $4 for the ebook. So um, well worth the money, I think. So we're going to talk about price lists and I made a handy little um, handy sheet. Of course, everything's backwards because it's live. Oh my goodness. Um, Anyway, so you can see here, um, I made a pyramid. I called this my price list pyramid. And um, so most people when they go, well, actually, let me start over. Let me start over. Um, <laughs> everything is backwards. So um, most people are going to eat between three and five pounds of food every day. So if you do the math, the average is four pounds. So four times seven is 28 pounds of food a week. So if you're going to eat 20, um, 28 pounds of food a week, it makes a difference whether you're spending 10 cents, um, 10 cents a pound on your food or $10 a pound on your food. And most of us are going to spend um, like somewhere in between here, in between that, that free, um, free food and $10 a pound or probably even more depending on where you live. So if you have a budget of let's say $20 a person per week. And I do $10, but let's say $20 to include those of you that are in higher cost of living states. So $20 per person per week, your average cost um, per pound of food needs to be about 71 cents, which is pretty fairly cheap. Um, that's pretty much buying everything on sale and only the cheapest things. So uh, for $15, for a budget of $15 a week, you're going to have to spend an average of $0.54 cents a pound on food. And $10 a week, which is what I spend per person, um, is going to be $0.36 cents a pound, which is really, really cheap. It's super hard to find food that is that cheap. So what you're going to have to do is, remember that's the average, you're going to bump it up with free stuff. So the more free stuff and the more cheap stuff, I might add like 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents a pound, um, the more free and cheap stuff that you can find, um, the more money you'll have to spend on more expensive items like cheese, for example. Cheese is like um, probably between $2 and upwards. Um, like retail here, it's about 4 or $5 a pound. I only buy mine on sale, so I spend like between two and three dollars a pound but most people are going to spend between four and five dollars a pound and that's just for your regular old cheese so if we're spending two dollars a pound on cheese and our average needs to be um, 71 cents a pound then we're going to have to boost that up with the free stuff like i said and my book is mostly about um, how to bring that price per pound down whether that's buying on sale or shopping at different places or um, cooking. A lot of stuff can be made, um, you can really expand your, your price per pound by cooking. So for example, instead of buying all of your dairy products pre-made, you can make some of them yourself. For example, yogurt. Um, I make cheese. Uh, what else can you make? There's other stuff you can make too, but um, I'm kind of drawing a blank here. So you can make your own food and that'll take your, um, what is milk per pound? I wrote this down somewhere. Let me see if it's in here. No, I didn't. So um, let's say milk is like 40 cents a pound. And I, th I think that's around what it was. You'd have to look at the price per gallon. Price per gallon around here is like, a dollar seventy or cheaper if you go to Aldi. So milk is really cheap. So I can get a lot of milk and make a lot of yogurt and a lot of cheese for you know a couple bucks. So that's going to extend my money quite a ways. The other thing you can do is um, baking. 
So instead of buying your bread, and around here, like the very cheapest you can buy bread retail is like 88 cents a pound. So um, you can take your 20 or 30 cents a pound flour and make bread with that. So that's going to bring your price per pound of bread way down. Um, so that is the very basics on price lists. Um, an interesting thing to do, and I've never done this, I probably should, is um, look at your receipt, your grocery receipt, and then um, add up the however many pounds of food you got and see what the average cost is. I haven't done that before. So, oh, hey, honey, my husband is on. He just liked my video. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what I had to say about price lists. Let me see if I have any more notes. I don't really, but... Um, that's really the basics. You need to, you really, really need to have a price list if you want to try to lower your budget. Um, some people, like, I've heard some people say, man, I just try and try to lower my budget and I can't. And probably the reason for that is they're buying things that are more expensive per pound and they're not looking at the per pound rate, they're looking at the per package rate or um, just the, yeah, just the per package rate, like, like if you buy a little thing of nuts, for example, it's a couple dollars, which doesn't seem like very much, but per pound, that's like $30 a pound. Um, and so, like if you just cut out that, um, oh boy, I'm drawing more blanks. All right, I think this video should probably end soon. So anyways, like for example, cutting out nuts and eating more rice and beans, is really gonna help your budget. And everybody knows that on the surface, but when you actually look at the numbers, you're looking at paying 40 cents a pound for food versus $30 a pound for food. And that is a huge difference. So um, that's what I've got to say about price lists. Again, if you wanna get my book, it is on Amazon. And I also have this meal planning book. That's also on Amazon. It's a little cheaper because it's a lot thinner. Um, but menu planning is another thing that can bring your price list or your average um, cost of food per pound down. And that is because you're reducing waste. So when you, when you waste your food, so let's say you bring home 30 pounds of food. Um, if you are throwing away two or three pounds of that, your cost per pound of food is going up. So that's another thing to be aware of. You don't want to be wasting food after you buy it because um, that will bring your price per pound up. So um, until next time, I will uh, see you guys later.